Good morning. Just going to go through the Swift Command. Uh, this is a 2019 model Swift Command unit. So what you need to do to start this up, just press the button and you go straight into the command screen. This is 2019 model. There is a difference now between the 20 model. You get a, an extra button on here where you can control the fridge, uh, but it's not available on this, this year, the 2019s. Um, very quickly across the top, You've got uh, internal temperature, external temperature, humidity displayed there. You've got the date, the time. Symbols over here, the, um, <clears throat> the sun showing the solar panels doing a little bit, adding a bit of the charge to the battery. The L shows you on your um, mains and your leisure batteries in, in a good charge. Um, this will go into sleep mode after five minutes. To actually, when you tow in, to actually turn it off, you do need to hold the, the, the uh, button there for about five to ten seconds and it'll turn off. So that's off now, that's, that's all your 12 watt off. So just to start it up, when you get to your campsite, press the button and up it comes. If you're on a shutdown and you start the system up to start off with, you will get a different screen, which is advanced level. And you will see a little home button, press the home button. You do not want to go into the screen. When we finish, we will just quickly show you what that looks like so you're not surprised when you see it. Um, water pump. So put your water pump on, just press the button. So now you can pour the water in, fill your tank up, have hot and cold running water. Um, that's your awning light. So that's your only switch for your awning light on this particular model. So that's off. Uh, this one is for your, your main caravan lights. Uh, they are all on at the moment. You can use this as a dimmer switch, or you can use it as a button to turn the front lights off and your entry lights on that one. That's all the lights off now. And you do have switches all around the van to turn them back on. So that's your entry light button, just down there. And the other one for your lights are just across there. That's your lights above uh, the front lights, your living quarters. So that's your dimming facilities. And you can dim the front ones as well. Home button just takes you back to the screen. Power source, so you can check your power, see what's happening with the, um, with the caravan. So that screen there shows uh, your ledger batteries in, and you're, you're charging it uh, at 14. That is a high, high, it charges at 14 volts. So when you're off mains, that's probably going to be around 12 volts showing a, a full charge in your battery. You can see, also see your solar panel when it's doing something. And you can notice the little symbol at the top's now dropped off because the solar panel is no longer required. And you can also check your vehicle battery there as well. You'll always get a reading on there, when, even if you're not connected to the car, um, which is a good sign. Sub-menu on this screen. This one, you can view the ampage. So that's the ampage that we're actually using in the caravan um, with, the, with the fridge on and the lights running at the moment. And you've also got an amp limiter here, so you can set the limit of the draw from the post coming into the caravan. So at the moment it's in off, just press the press button and you can set it to whatever ampage you want, up to 16 amps. When it's off, it is set at 16 amps. So if you're on a 10 amp campsite, if you set that at 10 amps, then it means it's, um, you're not necessarily going to blow the, the, the post out. Um, it also administrates the electric going to the heating system as well. So if you get to the top end, it will drop the power going to the heating system. Uh, you can turn it off by simply just pressing it straight, or you can just do a minus and t take it back to, to zero if you want to make sure oops, everything's off. Home button just takes, uh, sorry, the return button just takes you back to that screen. And then you've got the, the home button just there. Um, radio control is here. So at the moment, the radio is in its off mode at the top. Press the button, and that's FM. So obviously, you've got your tuner there, volume control. So uh, just tune it as, as, you, as you like. Preset button's just down there. If you press the button again, you've got your DAB facility when it eventually finds a... There you go. And then you've got your station choice there. Okay. Press it again and you've got an auxiliary button. So if you want to play your phone or any external source through the unit itself, if I can just open up this cupboard, which is... Uh, they do vary where they are positioned, but usually they're on this entry cupboard. So that's your radio unit. So if you want to play sync through it, you need a, an auxiliary cord, plug it through into your system. That's it, that's your radio bits there. Uh, you do have another sub-menu on here as well. All your balances as well, if you want to get the music to your liking. 
home button. Oh, yeah, I've got preset buttons. You will find on the app, you can turn the radio on and off and also select preset buttons. Uh, there's no tuning facility on the app. Let's press home at the moment anyway. Uh, settings are in here. Um, so do quite a bit in here. When you can alter the time if you want, just press the buttons. You've got your date there, you've got your day. Brightness on the screen, if you want the screen to be a bit bright, brighter, just press the button, that should be 100%. Or you can dim it down. They're always set it. 80%. Screen timeout. So after five minutes, this screen will go blank. So I should time out, but you can change that as well. If you don't like the little bleep, you can mute it by pressing that. So now if you press a button, it's muted. We always leave it on for the moment. And this is where you're going to pair your phone. We will uh, um, show you that shortly, hopefully. But that's where you pair it, and uh, we'll go through that in a bit. Home button. Just takes you back. We're just going to show you how to connect an iPhone to the command app. So press your settings. Make sure you've downloaded the correct app to your phone. Uh, there are two apps. There's a 2019 model and a 2020. 2019 forward is the blue app. Uh, prior to that, uh, the 17 and 18 are, is the green app. So make sure you get the 20, either 2020 or 2019 one, which is a blue uh, icon. Press the pair button up on the top. Hopefully we're going to get a signal just down here. All right. So um, connect the device. And we've got a little swirl coming up there. Pair. Still swirling. Lovely. Right, we're, we're into the app now. So everything that I, sh and you, everything that I showed you up there is demonstrated here. You've got an additional one here on here, Alco. Uh, you can, on that one, you can check the history of the caravan uh, on, on a trip. All the others are exactly the same. So if I wanted to turn the, the pump off, I can press that. Hopefully it's now turn the water pump off up there. Uh, lighting, just in there. Again, how, how I left it, if I want to turn them off, so that's turn the lights off. So we've done the, we've done the lights. You can see up on the top screen up here, uh, we've linked this phone to it, so we've got paired one. It takes four devices, and if you want to change or you run out of places, you can also delete, but it deletes all everything that's been paired. Okay. Um, um, all the other ones are exactly as we, as up the top. Once you sort of just give it a few seconds for it to actually register and download the stuff. So as I've gone through there, radio control there again. A, I did say you, you can't tune it, but you need to have preset buttons down there. But if you want to put the radio on, it will, it will activate the radio from here. We're off. Very quickly show you the heating system on here. Oh, Bluetooth. Obviously, if it kicks out, which it might do, if that goes red around the Bluetooth area, press the button again, that will re, reconnect you. So on your heating, just go into that. You can see how it's been left at the moment on manual. So I want to take it over. Just to let you know... Um, the seven time one which is a bigger timer hasn't been available so I don't know if that's a, an upgrade that will come at a later point but uh, just go on to the timer just there so now we're, we're back in the heating screen's gone off up there and uh, we just want to go into the timing facility so exactly as I showed you up there so if I put the heating on on that one there it whatever degrees 12 degrees Heating hopefully should pop up up there, and you've got your water. So it's um, 4 30 in the afternoon, the heating's going to go off unless you put your, a temperature in there, either take it up or take it down. Water will go off at, 10, at uh, 4 30. And then, if you want to gain, want the heating to come either lower or higher, time zone 4 at 10 o'clock, which you can change all the times. And obviously, the water is off there, but if you want your water on at that time, Whatever, just press it and it should hopefully come up eventually, eco. Uh, and that's how you do it. So exactly the same as the handset. So I'm just going to turn them all off now. You may, you've, you've got save in load. You, if it's not registering up on the panel, you may have to load it back to the caravan. Just press the button, it'll load the information that you've done there back onto the van. Home button, just there, just takes you back to the screen. Um, I do want to turn it off on here, 
So I've gone back onto manual now. So now the heating is going to be controlled from the panel up on the top. This is, this is an Apple phone. And so all you've got to do, make sure you've got the app up. Home screen on there. When you press the power button up on the top, Press this one here, control panel, and then that will ask you to connect to the caravan, and then it will ask you to pair. Once that's done, you're in on an Android phone. Uh, also, you want to make sure you've got Bluetooth on as well, otherwise it won't work, it only works Bluetooth. Um, on an Android phone, make sure you've got the Bluetooth screen up on your, um, on your phone or your device. Um, press the, the pair button, and then on the Bluetooth, you'll see, you'll see your phone or your device doing a search and you will see Swift BLE pop up. When that pops up, press that to pair it or connect, sorry. And then it'll go to another screen asking you just to pair it. So it's, a, it's, it's similar, but slight, slightly different. So you, you go through the Bluetooth screen on an Android phone where the apples, you go through the, the command panel. Just go across on the command. This one here, this feature here, won't allow me to go into it because we're not actually, the caravan's not registered. Um, that's your roaming device, so if you want to control things away from the caravan, you can do, but that's your roaming device on there. Um, but you'll find on that button, once the caravan has been uh, registered to you and you've, you've registered for the Swift command, um, there's an update button. You do want to update your app, whether you're on an Android phone or an Apple phone. If you don't update it, you're not going to get the uh, facilities to control Sorry. from the outside. Uh, also you need the consumer unit, the black shutdown switch does need to be on for access into the caravan. So if you've turned that off, you're leaving the van into storage, you've got no access to the van. Uh, and in storage, it is a good idea to turn, turn it off. Um, that one's all to do with Swift, Swift TVs and stuff. Home button just takes you back. And that's gonna be your login details and things like that, which um, we would need to give to you. Uh, with the Swift command, um, you can either register yourself an account if you're picking up a new Swift product um, and that's uh, the website is swiftcommand.co.uk or we will set it up for you. It's, you will need a password which we will set for you or you can set your own password if you do it yourself. And then the van just needs to be, once the, once the van in the, is, has been collected we just complete the sell process which then links your account to the caravan. Shut this down now so we're, we're going to um, put the van into storage. Turn down the, um, the consumer, uh, the um, Swift command unit. That's off. And I'm just going to walk over to the consumer unit, which is underneath this bench. Just lift that lid up, or that extension arm. It just helps this lid to um, the seat to come up a bit, a bit easier. Pull that up, and that's your master shutdown switch just there, over there. So if you put the van into storage, if you isolate that. You've got no sort of uh, drain down on the off, off your battery, so it should preserve your battery, um, which is a good thing. The solar panel is still charging your battery, so you're not you're not dis disconnecting that. Uh, the other buttons you've got across there, electric supply is heating hot water, so that does need to be on. If that is off, then the little symbol up on the top panel won't work. Uh, charger, just leave that on at all times. Trip switches, mains tester there, so you can you can test your mains. Uh, make sure it's all good in operation and you've got your fuses just there they are listed on the opposite side just here so your trip switches and your fuses are listed there uh, battery uh, charger units there on this particular model the motor mover has been fitted so that's the uh, that's the um, the operating panel for the motor mover the receiver across there is your water pump the damper to the water system keeps the pressure constant and that's your drain down point for your water. So if you flick that switch up into the vertical position, so it's pointing upwards, that will drain the water at that point underneath the caravan. Obviously, when you winterize a caravan, you do want to make sure the water's out. So flick the switch up, open up the taps as well, let the, uh, let the air come in so you get a good flow. Um, obviously, to put water in the, the tank before you put your water on, make sure that key is down in the horizontal position. Put your pump on, put your pump on on the compact command unit and pull the water through on hot tap. When you get a good flow of water coming through on the hot tap, you know you've got water in the boiler. Then just make sure you've got water coming out of the cold side and then bleed the, um, the bathroom through as well. So just make sure you've got wa good water in your tank before you put your, uh, your heating or your hot water on, sorry, on your uh, heating system. Coming back now, so we've uh, 
pick the van up from storage. I'm just going to turn it on the command, and that's a, that's the a screen you're going to see. You'll only see that when you've done a shutdown. Uh, just press the home button. You don't want to be in there. That's all the operating systems of the of the, the van itself. Okay, that's it. The only other thing with the Swift command, which I sort of spoke about, is you, you have the, got the option to go for the tracker with the Swift command. You can register for that through the Swift command um, website or, the, or on the app itself if you want. Uh, Swiftcommand.co.uk. Just log in with your password into your account and you can activate the, um, the tracker that, that way. And the tracker is activated from your alarm. So if you do go for the tracker, on the caravan, you've got a um, tilt and um, internal sensor, but to activate the alarm, second button down, press it once, that's your alarm activated, and saying if you subscribe for the tracker, that's your tracker activated as well. Turn your alarm off, again, just press the button, and that's, that's it, that's your alarm off. Um, if you've got your power on, the awning light will come on, so you can override your awning, that's it, override the awning light on that one, and you've also got a Fourth button, small one, P for program. You can program the alarm. You can change some of the settings. There are manuals for it, so please read the manuals that will tell you how to do it correctly. And that's in there. The only other little um, part of this caravan is your fridge. Just be careful with these fridges. You can sort of change things as you walk past it. So if you're washing up, if you're only bleeping, you know you you've, um, may have changed the settings. So on the 2020 models, you can control the fridge from the command app as well. Um, just around here, that's your on-off switch. We're on mains at the moment. To change it onto gas, just press the button. Oops, now we're on gas. If it fails, it will bleep and tell you. That's your thermostat control, so to change your thermostat, just press the button, just like that. On this fridge, you've got an option for auto, so if you come onto auto, it will default straight to electric. So you're on electric. Um, if you leave it on auto, if you have a power cut or it trips out, it'll go onto gas. When you're towing, do not use auto. Always tow manually, and that's your tow vehicle battery on there. So now it's flashing away at the moment because we're not connected to a car and the engine's not running. But don't use auto when you're towing. Always use that one. That's on gas now. If it fails on gas, so it's flashing there and bleeping, the on and off switch for the fridge is your reset button as well. So it's just a matter of just touching it very gently and it's just apply a bit of pressure and it should reset it. It will take a few attempts though, but you, you will reset it eventually. Leave it on mains. Turn your fridge off on this particular model. Just press and hold that button. It's not so sensitive as all the others, but uh, that's how you turn the fridge off. And I'm just going to turn it back on again. Press the button in. Fridge comes on and it just goes back to your previous previous setting. And that's it.